Okay guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video of all the stuff in my reptile drawers so that you can see what sort of supplies I use and if you're getting into reptiles, how much stuff you're going to need. So let's get straight into it. This top drawer here has got all of my Crested Gecko stuff in it. So over here we have a little cricket box with his name on it, Splat. Um, this I use for weighing him in and if I ever have to take him to vets, which hopefully I won't have to, but I'll carry him around in this. Uh, underneath that here is a data sheet. It's got the day of the week, the date, if he's fed, what he's at, if I've held him and how much he weighs. He weighs about 10 grams now, which is good, so he's definitely growing. Got a pair of feeding tongs for feeding insects, a dusting cup for dusting the insects in, a spoon and a little toothpick that I just keep inside it. I used these for um, scooping out powder and mixing it for, for the Crested Gecko diet. I have Arcadia Reptigold. This isn't a complete diet for Crested Geckos but it is a very good nutritional additive. Unfortunately my Crested Gecko won't eat it. He won't eat anything fruit based at the minute which I'll discuss in a sec. But if he would eat this I'm sure it would be great. Of course I have Rapashi which he also won't eat. And jelly pots. The main thing I want to discuss about Splat, just to interject, is that he won't eat anything CGD related. Uh, he's about 10 grams and all he will eat is insects, so if anybody has any tips about getting them onto CGD then please do tell me them. But yeah, that's about it for this drawer, let's move on to the second one. So going down, this is the drawer with the main stuff in it uh, for my reptiles. So I have a little pen with different colours that I use for filling in all the data sheets. A pair of tweezers for taking insects out of the cages. Two tubes from the Exoterra Cricket Pens. Uh, Exoterra Calcium with D3. I have Exoterra Calcium and Exoterra Multivitamins. Neither of these are opened because I got them thinking they were good and then from further research, they aren't the best, so I've not really used them yet and I don't know if I will. A little scoop spoon for taking out supplements, scales so that I won't get out, spare milk lids for putting rapashi in and um, calcium in for my lap of gecko. I have Zoomed Repti Safe. In the back here in this pot is Arcadia Calcium with Magnesium. I've done a review on this as well as the next supplement I'll talk about so I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, the next supplement I've got is Arcadia Earth Pro A. Then I've got Arcadia Insect Fuel that I've also done a review on. And Arcadia Custodian Fuel which I feed the springtails on that live in the Crested Geckos tank. So that's it for this drawer, let's move on to the third one. So this drawer doesn't really have a lot in it. It's my leopard gecko drawer. It's got, obviously, a data sheet. But I'm nearly ran out of slots on it. But um, as you can see, he's eating an absolute ton. And if you look at the weight column, you can see he's just hit 80 grams, which is fantastic. This is his carry box. I ought to write his name on it actually, but yeah, it's just an old mealworm package. Then I have this book, Leopard Geckos by Lance Jepson. It's actually a decently good book. Uh, I would actually recommend it if you're just starting off. It's not got absolutely everything, it's not got all the tips and tricks, and it's slightly outdated because it doesn't talk about bioactivity, but it's still a very good start. Then we have a insect dusting cup just like the one Splat has, and some of the black tweezers again. And like I said, I have different ones of these for each of my animals because I don't want to cross-contaminate the food. So this is the final drawer I want to talk about. 
I do have a couple of cupboards more with um, reptile thingies in them, but they're all sort of miscellaneous and they're not that important. But um, this drawer is for red, the corn snake. I have two of these little cups that I use for defrosting mice. I've got a pair of scissors to open the little white bags that the mice come in if you get them from pets at home. I have a data sheet for him. This one is about um, how often I've changed his water because his water bowl's that big that I don't change it every day. It's due for a clean out today anyway, so it's also got um, when he's shared, when he's being held, and stuff like that. He has a second separate data sheet for feeding because snake feeding has sort of got more variables in it than gecko feeding. So I like to have a different um, sheet just so that I can write more in. Down there, I've got these long pair of tweezers and finally of importance in this drawer I have the corn snake Munson chart this tells you how much you want to feed them if you can tell I've had this a long time and I did spill something on it but it, it still works so uh, yeah so yeah that's about it for this week's video I hope that you did enjoy it and if you did please leave a like and please subscribe I want to see if we can get to 500 subscribers sort of by August if we can, which would be great and you could help me get there by sharing this video to all your friends. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy it and I'll see you in the next one.